Hey y'all, for this project you'll need some of the hoops that are at the Dollar Tree craft section. Any kind of scrap paper, paper or fabric that you really like. This one is from the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so I think it was only like 39 cents. And then I have my little guys that I got from my spring and summer Michael's grab bags or boxes that are the gnomes with the little uh, lime wedges. And I've got my scraper, my little uh, exacto, my clippers, some glue, which I'm just using like school glue, and I got my Gorilla Glue just in case it doesn't work. But the first thing I'm going to do is pop out the little metal pieces of the gnomes so that I can just have them be the little wooden like cutouts. And then I'm using my scraper here to take off the parts that were three-dimensional. So the little lime wedge that's on there and his little nose and the lining of the hat because I need him to lay flat. And then when I turn him over, that's the part I want. And I want the silhouette of the gnome. So I've got to get rid of this little like leaf that's on the top and this little thing in his hand. So for that, I just use my snips. These are the snips I use to cut wire and everything. They're really good snips. And because this was, you know, it's just like a little thin board, uh, layers of thin board, it cut through everything pretty easy. And then once I got this close enough, then I follow up with the exacto because as you can see, it gets, it does a good job. It's pretty close, but not exactly the way that I want it to be so that the silhouette's just a little crisper. So then I'm taking my green paint, which is the Dunn Edwards color mixed in the Clark and Kensington samples. I think that one is called Green Fields, and then the red is Red Power. So I'm painting each gnome, one red, one green. And I also painted the hoops, one red, one green. And the gnomes are going to go in the middle of the hoops. Now I'm going to take my little scrapbook paper. So you'll take your paper or your fabric and you'll fit up the circles where you want them to be. And with this one sheet of scrapbook paper, if you get these same ones that are at Dollar Tree, the same little circles, um, you can actually use one paper for both circles. So this is kind of the idea that I'm going for is I'm going to have that, you know, pattern be the background and then the little gnomes are going to be centered on there. Now, if you have a paper or fabric that has a bigger pattern, you may have to use more just so you can center it up and get it exactly where you want to. But this one has a lot of little gnomes and presents um, repeating over the paper. So once I've got everything aligned, I'm just going to take a little sharp marker and trace out my circles and then cut those out. I think this would be really cute with like a snowflake in the middle too if you had um, some other type of like really pretty background. With the hoops, when you attach this, you could either attach it from the front or from the back. But if you're going to put the hoop um, on the front, you may want to just make a note that you'll need to paint the inside of the hoop because obviously you'll see it. And then I'm putting just a little dab of glue here. I'm trying the school glue first because it does say that it adheres to wood okay. It's also clear, so with the paper, if there's anything that like gets over, it's not going to look out of place. And I do add glue all the way around the circle, just really lightly, because you don't want it to be too much to where it makes the paper too thin or anything. Um, but press it, leave it for a little bit. I left mine actually overnight just to be safe because the gnomes are heavier. And then I'm taking the little tape measure here and just measuring so I can try to center everything up. And then I'm using the same glue on my gnome because it did good on the paper. So I'm going to try it, especially since it's lighter. And I just double check and make sure that it's centered. I usually eyeball these. The only reason that I'm trying to get a little more exact is because of that pattern. And then I remembered 
like, oh, I have these cool little things from Michael boxes from like last year after Christmas. And I thought these would be really cool instead of just using like regular wire to hang them from. So I ripped one of the pieces off and each of them, if you pull them, can just be taken off. And it has a wire that actually helps you to shape it in the center. So I took the scissors and just like cut around the wire because I want the wire intact because that's what's going to um, attach to the little pieces here. But I think that's way cuter than like a ribbon or anything. It just looks a little bit different. So I drill in the top. When you're drilling, make sure you stay straight down. Don't go at an angle because you could pop through your paper or your fabric. You can also do the drilling ahead of time if you just want to be safe. But once the hole's drilled, since this has its own wire, all I do is just bend that wire back to secure it. Doesn't need anything additional than that. And this is Super what it looks like. Cute. Super cute. These might even be a really cute contender for something other than wreaths hanging on cabinets, right?